Hey everybody, Ann here, and look at that. I'm on my neighbor's property, and I noticed some mushrooms growing on our trees. And you know what? I think, I don't know, I think I know what those are. Okay, the lighting's not good because it's kind of overcast, but look how big they are. Oh my goodness, they are huge. The underside, just look how big they are. <gasps> Okay, I've got my hand up here, so you can kind of get s scale, you know. Um, I'm going to see if I can cut these down. My neighbor said that I could. So I'm going to come back in a minute, and, um, God, I need something. I could probably break them off, but I don't want to totally remove the entire mushroom. Um, I'm going to do a spore print. I'm going to get my book out and see if I can identify these, but... I don't know, are these oyster mushrooms? And here, check this out, I found another tree too. All right, see that tree in front of me? Let's go look at these beautiful mushrooms. I was so excited when I saw these. Okay, a closer look. Look how awesome they are. They go all around the tree. Here's another bunch. Another big bunch and some more. They're all the way around the tree. Let's see if I can see what they look like on the other side. Whoop. Look, aren't they cool guys? Let me just take, let me just take, this looks like an older one. So I'm gonna just break this off a little bit and see what it looks like underneath. That's what it looks like underneath. I'm gonna see if I can get a spore print. I'm gonna pick them, pick them, pick not the little ones, just the bigger ones, the ones that look like they're mature. These look, I don't know if I would, if they, if they are oyster mushrooms, um, these are kind of dirty, so I don't know if I would actually eat these, but check them out. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Picked a few, I didn't pick all of them. Let's see if I can get the light better. Um, but this is what they look like. Here is the top side. And this is all from clusters on that one back tree. And this is what they look like underneath. And these just came off all in one big clump. See, that's where they were attached to the tree. I'll turn them over. A little bit dirty, but uh, that's what they look like. So, so amazing. I need to look them up in my book just to make sure I know what they are. And here's the last bunch, and I left plenty on the tree. Look at all of those. But check this big one out. This turned out to be one big mushroom. Look at my dirty fingernails. Yikes. Turn it over, and it's just huge, huge. Oh my goodness, just look at that. All right, so I need to get my book out and figure out if these are actually what I think they are. Look how big, and they smell. Oh, they smell, oh, I don't know, not strong mushroomy, almost kind of, I don't wanna say citrusy, but uh, they smell very good. So let me get my book out and see if I can identify these. I might need to do a spore print too, so. I did confirm that these are oyster mushrooms. They have all the classic characteristics of a oyster mushroom. Cap is two to eight inches wide, oyster shaped, semicircular to elongated, margin lobe to wavy at times, moist, smooth, white to ash or brownish, flesh thick, white, odor pleasant, gills descending stalk, definitely a choice edible mushroom. They are just beautiful, beautiful, and I found them growing on trees, and I also kind of went back and forth with some of the other ones that might look like them, and they didn't meet any of those characteristics so yeah oyster mushrooms I went ahead and cut up the big one I rinsed it off just made sure there were no bugs in it and kind of let them dry out on some paper towels so that I could cook them I got a mixture of that all-in-one pancake mix the kind you only have to add water to and I added salt pepper garlic and a little bit of cumin and I coated them all with that then with the leftover 
Betty's eating right now. With the uh, leftover um, flour stuff that was in there, I added a little bit of water, and then I dragged them through that too, you know, and I mixed it all up, kind of like pancake batter. Dipped them all in that, put them in hot oil, fried them up for a couple minutes on each side, and they look like chicken fingers, don't they? So I'm going to take one of these little ones and give it a taste. They're definitely crunchy. Mmm. You know what? It kind of tastes like chicken a little bit. It's weird. Mmm. These are very good. Very crunchy. Let me see if I can get a taste of a big one so you can see what the inside looks like. They're very hot. Mmm. Look at that. That looks like a chicken nugget, but it's not. It's mushrooms. So you know what, guys? This has been awesome. All right, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.